Justin, everybody wants a secret. For 2018, what's going to be the law? What's the, the new hot Yeah, I'll, show, I'll show you guys some of our new colors for 2018. As you guys can see here, uh, we're in Edison, New Jersey, and we've had a busy first day. Uh, sold out of a lot of different colors, but one that I can definitely tell you has been uh, most popular over the last couple of weeks. We actually sold out of this last week. We had to produce another 15 of them for uh, this week's show. And uh, this is our sand eel color. It's a mix. Uh, generally, your offshore lures are between six inches and nine inches. This is kind of a hybrid. It's seven and a half inches, more tubular in shape. And we custom designed it to look exactly like a sand eel. This is definitely one of the ones that you'll want to uh, pick up for your, uh, your arsenal for the spring here. Uh, works on inshore blue fins, offshore yellow fins, uh, just as effectively. Um, well, let me go back to that one second. You also have splash birds with this as well. That's correct. Every single one of the lines on the bar has five birds on it. Um, okay. It splashes like crazy. Kind of looks like uh, if you were sitting inside your car and a car wash was going left, you know, uh, okay. uh, off with all the bubbles that come out of it. And then we go to basically. Yeah, if you, these are your traditional pinks. Uh, rainbows, greens, some glows, but this is another one that uh, I would say is, it's a oh, custom nice, designed yeah. black with abalone in it. This is a nine inch version right here. Um, this has been an absolute killer with the yellow fins uh, in 2017. And as you can see, I think we have two left of 20 that we had stocked, wow. um, you know, as of this morning. So again, another busy day over here, some really hot colors. If I was gonna show you guys some of our machine version, This right here, I call Halloween. It's got black with an orange stripe and a little bunker flash in it. This has been very, very hot over the last couple of months, I would say, uh, October bite, this was mm -hmm. outstanding. And this is another one of our newest. This is lemon lime. Lemon lime has a little bit of oil flash in it, uh, brighter color, early morning. Uh, this thing is sure to be bringing up your yellow fins. I'm gonna ask you a technical question now. For the guys that are out there trolling, getting into the sport, we have a splash bar, we have a traditional regular bar. Traditional regular bar, you basically want on an outrigger, and you want to try to keep the bar out of the water. Is that correct? That's correct. Now the splash bar, it's where would you place it? Yeah, us? it's a little bit different because you have the birds in line on the bar, so the bar is in contact with the water. The most important thing I can tell you about that is using light wire titanium so okay. that it has some bend flex, and flex yeah. and it won't actually lock itself up. Um, generally speaking, where we would run those are your first set in the water and your second set in the water. Okay. So uh, your first four lures in the water, drawing the most attention, 36 inch spreader bars, uh, that's where you would want to run your splash bars. The splash bars, gotcha. Okay. Yep. And on the outriggers, of course, keep your bar out of the water if possible. Yep. And now let's talk your, your shoot lures, basically your value. Probably the most, um, I guess, popular lure right now for offshore fishermen is uh, the Joe shoot lure. What we do is we pin rig our lures so it's easy to uh, put a value on the hook and even your beginner fisherman can do these. Um, these we like to run in very clean, far, far, far back water. As Joey said, generally speaking, on your outrigger, long gotcha. rigger. One last thing, I noticed this. Explain this one for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is the newest of our lures here. Um, this is the Yummy uh, Flying Fish Daisy Chain from Chatter Lures. Uh, what this does is these first three fish actually dance on the water. And then you have your uh, eight inch flying fish behind it, which is trailing. And these wings are constantly flapping in the water. So really what this mimics is flying fish jumping in and out of the water. What we like to do with this is either run it on the inside rigger, mm -hmm. uh, close to the boat, okay. or even next to your whitewash, right from the rod tip, in tight. And what you get, you don't want this all to be in the water. You want these fish to be bouncing in and out of the water to give it optimal action, more natural looking. And uh, this is gonna be a killer for us this year. And as a matter of fact, uh, we just did an art article in Big Game Sword Fishing about this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, definitely the laws are amazing. I mean, right there, you can see how many you sold already. Yeah, it's Have a been great a... product, high quality. And, uh, you know, it's awesome. Hey, you know, I'm thinking maybe one day, maybe this year, you get on your boat, do some rigging tips, too. Yeah, it'll be a blast. It'll be awesome. Awesome. Thanks for having Always me, guys. Always a pleasure, Justin. Appreciate